And I've started to work really hard on myself to not just dislike something because it's trendy, okay? Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name's Olivia, and here we talk all things luxury and lifestyle. And today I am back with a video on the four luxury designer handbags that you need to start your collection. So if you're starting a collection, if you're already a collector, just interested in some more pieces, or if you just love handbags and wanna talk to me about them, please keep watching. This is definitely the video for you. All right, so this is a topic I am so, so, so excited to be talking about because I really hope that it will be helpful. I hope it will help if you are just getting into handbags, you're dipping your feet into the water and you're looking for guidance, some recommendations. Um, and I hope it'll even help if you're someone like me who considers themselves a bag collector, who is trying really hard to curate a phenomenal, timeless collection that will stand the test of time and have all the right pieces in it. So wherever you are on the spectrum, I hope that this video is useful and entertaining to you. And in order to make it really easy to watch, I'm gonna have chapters down below as we go through the different types of bags. And I want this video to be focused on types of bags and my personal recommendations. So we will jump right in with the first type of bag that you need if you're building a collection. So if you are building a luxury handbag collection, you absolutely need a clutch. You need a clutch, you need a clutch. No matter what your personal style is, what sorts of events you're going to, a clutch will be a beneficial addition to your collection, trust me. And one of the things I love most about clutches is that there's so many different options to choose from. So if you want something more understated, they have that. If you want something that's more of a statement piece, think Judith Lieber, they absolutely have that. If you want something that is somewhere in the middle, you can find that as well. There are so many options in terms of what it will do for your look. And then there's so many variations. So if you want a square, if you want a rectangle, if you want something um, almost east-west in nature, there are just so many to choose from. And for that reason, clutches had to be number one on this list. Uh, there are a couple that I personally love or have my eye on, and the first is the YSL Uptown Pouch. I absolutely love this clutch. I see myself getting it in so many more styles than I already have, and I think what I love about it is that it's just easy. It's easy to grab, it fits everything I need, especially if I'm going out. I feel like it doesn't overpower my outfits, it's not very commanding, it's kind of just a nice, subtle addition to whatever I'm wearing. Now, on the much more commanding side, a clutch that I just don't think I cannot buy, the Bottega Veneta Andiamo clutch. So I feel like Andiamo, the line, is kind of having a moment right now, okay? It is popular, it is trendy, and I've started to work really hard on myself to not just dislike something because it's trendy, okay? I saw this one, I knew I liked it instantly. And that, for me, is like a really important barometer. If I look at something, I don't wanna stare at it for 20 minutes before I'm like, uh, yeah, maybe. I wanna look at it and say, you're living here now. You, That wardrobe, that's your new home, okay? That's the feeling that I always want to have. And the Bottega Veneta Andiamo clutch absolutely does that for me. Another one that I think is a really interesting option is this Jacques Mousse. You've seen it, you love it or you hate it. It is such a popular piece. And what I love about this clutch is that it comes in a lot of different variations. So you kind of have, again, that ability to choose if you want it to be a core piece of your look or something more subtle that you're just grabbing. I love the mixed metals. I think it is special. I think it's unique. And I'm really becoming a Jacquemus fan. I've loved Jacquemus clothes for quite some time. I feel like I have a good amount of pieces. And what I don't have any of just yet is bags, clutches, other items from the brand. So I think this is a beautiful option and I can't say enough how much I think a clutch is an important piece to have in your collection. 
All right, next up, and probably the most obvious on the list, when you are building a luxury handbag collection, you need an everyday bag, and you need an everyday bag on the smaller, medium size of the spectrum. This will be the bag that you just use easily. You can throw it over a coat, you can wear it in the summer with shorts, it will take you through the seasons, and it will be a piece that flows with so many of the other pieces in your wardrobe. And the first one I wanna start with is the Prada Clio. It's just a beautiful bag. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bag. The silhouette of it, again, the amount of variations, the shiny leathers, all of the stunning options that they have, I think make this bag so, so, so formidable when we're thinking about, again, a small to medium sized bag that you can use March to February of the next year, okay? I also have to recommend the YSL Kate bag. I am a YSL girl. I've been a YSL girl for as long as I can remember. And I am just such a proponent of this bag. I feel like it's almost like a flagship bag for the brand. They do it over and over, season after season, in different sizes, different leathers, different hardware variations. So you can get a so black version, silver hardware, gold hardware. There's just so much in this range. And it is one of my personal everyday bags in my collection in the small medium range for all of the reasons I just said. It is easy, I can throw it on with everything all year round, and it just gives me that little touch of, I put effort into my look today, but I'm just running around. I'm just looking good running around, you know? All right, and next up on this list, the Loewe Puzzle Bag. I just think it is a good addition. It is just a workhorse, again, it is exactly what I said it would be. It is an everyday bag that you wear all season long that just is the perfect like bow on the rest of your outfit. It just pulls it together with a hint of just class and sophistication. You feel like you didn't just frumple boots out of bed. You look nice, but you also look nice in a way that can take you through season after season, event after event, day after day. They've recently redone the Loewe puzzle bag and I have to say, both variations are nice to me. I think, you know, the original had kind of one piece of leather, almost origami The new one doesn't, but I think they are beautiful bags either way. And I think they're a strong recommendation for an everyday and bag. So thinking about having a small, medium everyday bag, that also means we need a larger everyday bag in our luxury collection, right? We need something for, I don't know, laptops. If we're gonna go, I love to work at a cafe. Like, if I don't have to work in these four walls, I'm probably not going to. I love to have a bag that I can take for things like that. Maybe I'm going on a trip. Um, maybe I just have errands to run, and so I'm gonna go from a cafe where I'm working to out to do errands to somewhere else. There's just a million reasons why we also need a larger everyday bag in our collection. I have a couple, and I love them. They've been great but I'm definitely in the market for more. And I'll tell you, the ones that I recommend in this category are the ones that I absolutely have on my personal wish list. I am wearing a Dior scarf today, and both of these bags are Christian Dior. The first, I think, is just gonna be, I think it's gonna be one of those things that I can't not buy, which, you know, like reeking of privilege, like I can't not buy it, but I honestly can't not buy it. The Dior Toujours, I just think it's perfect. I will be in France soon, and so this to me feels like the perfect bag to grab there to commemorate the trip and quite frankly to get at a better price than I can get it here. I think this bag is just absolutely stunning. I love that it has that canage, the kind of Dior um, symblematic print that they have had forever, but I love that this bag is fully leather, that it again is large enough for my laptop it just feels to me like this bag will be one that I reach for time and time again, and one that I can use, right? We know that I love to baby my bags. I don't love to baby my everyday bags because that is the purpose of the big everyday bags, right? Like the other one on this list, I told you we were doing double Dior. It is the new Dior Book Tote in leather. I wanted, if you've been on this channel before, you know how much I wanted the Dior book tote in the embossed leather. I could never find the, the variation that I wanted. Fun fact, I walked into work one day, my boss had it, I screamed. I walked into the conference room, I let out a yelp. Okay, I screamed, I 
Anyway, I've wanted the book tote forever in leather. I could never find it, quite frankly, was like they had sold out. By the time I was ready to bring it into my collection, they were just gone. I was not finding them anywhere. I checked every store in New York, all the stores I could find. Atlanta didn't have it, New York didn't have it, LA didn't have it. This to me is my swan song. It's my redemption story. I think that I will choose one of these two bags, but I couldn't recommend them both more. If you know Dior, you know the leather is phenomenal. And if you know Dior, you also know they don't always hold on to their value very well. So they make the perfect everyday bag because you don't need to baby it. You know that if you decide to sell that bag, you are not going to get what you paid for for it. So you ought to get your payment in joy and value, okay? <laughs> All right, and last on my list of what you need to build your luxury handbag collection, a mini bag, okay? A mini bag, a tiny bag, a baby bag. I know there's a lot of feelings out there. There's a lot of feelings out there about whether these bags are practical, if we need them, if they make sense. I am constantly talking about how mini bags are not the most practical. That doesn't mean I don't have any. Okay, I still have and love a handful of mini bags. And I absolutely recommend that you have one in your collection. They are just for fun, to be honest. They're not practical, right? They make an outfit look amazing. They are so much fun to pull out. They're usually better priced, of course, than a larger bag in, you know, all leather from a place like Dior. I think mini bags, tiny bags are just fun. And I absolutely think you need at least one or two in your luxury handbag collection. I've already said once in this video, and if you know me, you know, I love Bottega Veneta. I really do. It's just, I love their ready to wear. I love their shoes. I love their bags. I love their sunglasses. I love that brand. And so while someone else might tell you a mini Jody is played out and we're not doing that anymore, I simply don't think so. I don't think Intrachado gets played out. I don't think Intrachado's ever trendy. Intrachado is the weave that Bottega Veneta does and I just think it's timeless. I love it, I love it, I love it. I will never let go of any of my Bottega pieces and I had to include a Bottega Veneta mini Jody recommendation. That said, I've seen a lot of other bags recently that I think are stunning. My mom is absolutely in love with the Lawn Van Cat bag. It is a beautiful bag. It is so cute. Again, not the most practical, but that's not the point of this section of the video, okay? And the last one that I think makes a wonderful recommendation, it is a bag that arguably, I would say is the trendiest bag I have ever considered buying and that is the Fendi Fendigraphy little itty bitty tiny bag, okay? I think there's a lot of pros to this bag. It's adorable. Um, I think Fendi is just a wonderful, wonderful brand. I love the craftsmanship. I love the options they come out with, especially for ready to wear. Year after year, their sunglass range, I love Fendi. And the only reason I haven't gotten that bag is because I am precious with my things. I like to baby stuff. I'm worried that that hardware on the bottom will be torn to bits, okay? If you are not like that, if you feel like, girl, I buy these bags to wear them, so what if the hardware gets scratched? I say, get this bag so I can live vicariously through you. I think it is just, I don't think it is a classic bag, but I think that it is a bag that has its place in a collection and that you will get so much use out of that will make just the cutest little statement on any outfit you're wearing, super dressed up to as casual as it gets, okay? That bag to me goes from gala to like courtside at a basketball game, trying to look cool, okay? Which I said as if I'm like, no one's inviting me to set courtside anywhere, but we're manifesting today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful to you, entertaining to you. And let me know in the comments down below what you think, okay? Do you have some of these bags? Do you hate every single bag that I mentioned today? If you are not done watching, I'll link two videos on the screen and I'll see you next time. Bye.